Hello, RPG Don here. Today, we're going to discuss how to create a pre-character screen. On this screen, your player can choose their gender, their name, and what class their character will be. First, we'll go to our database cogwheel and make sure we have our classes and at least three actors. A female character, a male character, and a start character, which is totally blank. Once we have this done, we'll go to our system, take out everybody in the starting party, and have the start blank character in our starting party. We can then apply an OK. In this cutscene, I will have a man walk down, speak to the player, ask them their name and gender, and tell them to choose a class. I will double click this spot to have my man here. I will name him Start Man, and I would like a brief pause before he enters. So in this page, I will have no image, a wait of 60 frames. By double clicking our black diamond, tab 2, wait, 60, and OK. Under that, I'll double click the black diamond, tab 1, create a switch by control switches. Clicking our Dropbox, making the switch start, clicking OK, choosing On, and clicking OK. Once this is done, I'll make sure our trigger is on Auto Run. Then on Tab 2, I'll go to Conditions, click our switch box, and choose our Start switch, then click OK. I want the man to walk down 6 squares. Double click a row, Tab 2, Set Movement Route, and find the name of my event, in this case Start Man. Then I will click Move Down 6 times, then click OK. After that, I'll put in a few spaces of text where I ask the player if they are a boy or a girl. Double click my black diamond, tab 1, show text, finding the image of the face for my character, then typing in my dialog, then click OK. Once we have our dialog, under are you a boy or a girl, we'll double click the black diamond, tab 1, show choices, and then type in boy in one choice and girl in the other choice. When we have this, we can click OK. There'll then be two different groups the when girl for when our player chooses girl, and the when boy for when our player chooses boy. Some of what we do for girl will be the same for boy, so we can copy and paste over. Our first step is changing the party member to add our girl. Double clicking a black diamond, tab 1, change party member, add, and the name of our girl, Mary. Then click OK. Under that, we click a black diamond, change party member, remove, and our start. Then click OK. It's important to add the player before removing the start player, or your game might crash. Once we have this, we can right-click and copy, and paste under when boy, but right-click and edit to change our female character to our male character, then click OK. Then we can right-click and copy our remove start, and paste that under our add male. Then we'll add some text, asking what the name of our character is, double-clicking our black diamond, tab 1, show text, finding our image and typing our text. We can copy and paste this on our mail row. After that, we'll click a black diamond, tab 3, name input processing, choose the gender that you're working on, in my case Mary, and the maximum amount of letters you want to allow the player to use for their name. I'll use 9 for this tutorial. When you have that, you can click OK. You can copy and paste this in our mail category, then edit it to make sure we're under our mail. Then click OK. After this, we will input text to further our story, then ask the player to step up to our purple fire so they can choose a class. Once we have copied and pasted all these into both categories, we will turn on self-switch A, double-clicking the black diamond, tab 1, control self-switch, self-switch A, and on, then click OK. Copy and paste this on your second category. After this, make sure your trigger is set to auto-run, and make a new event page. On this event page, change the condition to self-switch and choose A. Set it to action button, and then add text which again tells the player to talk to the purple fire to choose their class. What this event page will do is make it so that if our player talks to the old man again before heading to our purple fire, he will redirect them back to the purple fire. We'll make a new event page for the man, condition switch, and make a new switch called class chosen, then click OK. What this page does is once your player chooses a class, the man will turn to the left to look at them and tell them that they chose a wonderful class, then send them off to the rest of your game. First, on our first black diamond, double click a row, tab 2, set movement route, the name of this event, for us, start man, then turn left, then we'll click OK. Under this, some text, letting the player know that they chose a great class, and then he will be sending them on their journey now. Then, after that, click the black diamond under it, set movement route of the player, and turn down, then click OK. That way, your player will be facing down on the next map they are sent to. On our final black diamond for this page, Double click a row, tab 2, transfer player, and send them to your next map where your game will continue. 
By clicking on the spot, you want them to show up on the next map. Click OK when you're ready. Apply and OK. Now we can work on our purple flame. Choose an image you prefer. For this tutorial, I chose Other 2 and the middle purple flame. Make sure walking and stepping are both checked to give movement to our purple flame. And then we can begin on our classes. Give some text with no image, explaining to the player that they can choose their class here. And if they don't know what one of your classes does, they can click the class, check what it does, and choose whether or not they want to keep this class or go back to the list. Once we have this, we will make a text that tells our player, here's the list of classes. Under that, we will click a black diamond, tab one, show choices, and input the name of the classes for your game that they can choose. For this tutorial, I chose Robot and Jester. Click OK when you're ready. Under each of your class choices, you'll put text telling them what the class does and things like how they fight and what weapons they might use. Then you ask them if they want to become a robot. Under that, you'll double click a black diamond, tab one, show choices, and put yes or no, then click OK. For each class, under yes, You'll double click a black diamond, tab one, change class, and for both your male and female characters, you would change them to that class, making sure that both male and female characters have been changed to robot if your player chooses yes to become a robot. Under both of those, you'll click a black diamond, tab one, control switches, go to your class chosen switch, click OK, make sure it's on, and click OK. Under no, we will click a black diamond, tab one, jump to label, and type in a simple word I chose here for this tutorial, then click OK. We will scroll back up to here are the classes, double click that black diamond so that our label will be on top of here are the classes. Tab 1, choose label, and type in the name of the label you decided on for the earlier step for this tutorial here, then click OK. This will make it so that if your player doesn't want to be a robot and chooses no, they will be brought back to the statement here are the classes and be able to choose from the list again. Repeat this process for every class you add to your list. Once you have all this done, you can click Apply and OK. At the final step, make sure your player starts on this map somewhere. Under Event Mode, right-click your map, set Starting Position, and Player. When we have all this done, we can test our game. Always remember to save your changes before testing. And with all that done, you have your pre-character screen. That's it for this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If you have any ideas of a tutorial I should make, please leave a comment about it. Gain access to our Patreon feed, where you can vote for what class will be made next week on our custom class series by supporting us on Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.